from Missouri. Uh, let's talk about ACORN and the mixed record, the allegations that you have brought to light about ACORN and the Republican attempts to pigeonhole ACORN as a somewhat radical group. ACORN has had a long history of activism and is Chicago-based. Uh, one of the things that has come to light is that John McCain and other Republicans have appeared at ACORN events as recently as 2006. So ACORN had bipartisan support at various stages. Andrea, we're talking about this election, the, uh, the 2008 election, and what can we do going forward to, to make this election honest, and what can we do to make it open and fair? And ACORN uh, has uh, been engaged in, in activities which really are reprehensible. They include, for example, registering uh, to vote or attempting to register the Dallas Cowboys football team in Nevada or uh, registering somebody called Jimmy John's, which is a sandwich store uh, in Indiana, or the same person being registered 73 different times in Ohio. So there are real problems in the election, and what Senator Rudman and I and our committee has tried to do is to reach out to the Obama campaign and say to them, look, both sides have or should have an interest in having a fair election. And if it comes election night and there's no clear winner and there are just a host of lawsuits and charges back and forth and one side feels that it's been uh, cheated or the ballot box has been stuffed, that is really a bad thing for, for our country. We think that in the next three weeks, if both campaigns can work together in a constructive way, we can do a lot to assure the American people that this campaign, this election is going to be fair. And one point to make is that you have found, and others have found, uh, some outrageous examples of, of bad registrations, and you're blaming ACORN for that. But this is registration. This is not voting fraud. I mean, there are in place procedures at every, at every level to prevent people who have improperly registered from actually voting. I think that the distinction is, is more blurred than that because when you overload the system with thousands, tens of thousands of names that are bogus, it makes it very difficult for the system to, to function on election day. Also there's a particular problem with, um, with absentee voting because absentee voters don't have to show a, a driver's license or a, um, a card with their picture on it in order to vote. And in some states, that kind of voter identification is not done. So it, it really is a real problem. Already, we, we found at least one case in, in Ohio of somebody who has voted absentee who is not properly registered. Now, I, I have a copy here of a letter that the Obama campaign sent to you all uh, back on September 23rd. There's an exchange of letters, your letter to them on September 15th, their letter back to you saying that this is from David Plouffe, and what he says is that this is an attempt on your part, a political maneuver he claims to deflect attention from what they claim are Republican voter suppression strategies in various states. Uh, are you aware of that? Are you going to take any action on that? Are you in communication we, with the Obama we, we campaign are, on this? We are, we are, I would say, desperately trying to be in communication with the Obama campaign, not with charges and counter charges. But we believe that constructive measures can be taken by both campaigns on a cooperative basis to, uh, to have a fair election. If the Obama campaign believes that there are problems, let's deal with those problems. I think there are ways to do it. We certainly believe with ACORN that there are very, very serious problems and that they extend all over this country. And we've got to deal with them. There's still three weeks to go. We can operate constructively. And um, I think we can operate in good faith if the Obama people will come to the table with us. All right. Former Senator Jack Danforth, former U.N. Ambassador, uh, it's good to see you again. Thanks so much.